All right, hello and welcome everyone. Um, what I'm going to do here is just do a small intro um, to a new series of videos that I want to do. And I've been wanting to do them for a while. Um, now, if you've seen any of my collector's tips videos before, I, I go into a little bit of uh, detail of the different things that are good to collect gaming-wise and, and some that aren't. Um, but what I wanted to do, basically, is break it down console by console. And I figure the easiest way to do that is to basically do it in sort of chronological order. Um, generationally, if you like, because uh, the whole internet, it seems, has put every single game's console ever released in what they call generations. Um, so I think that's probably the easiest way to do it, because that's going to be the most straightforward, and that's what everyone's going to understand, hopefully. Now, I'm probably going to do one system per video, although that may change. Um, so the, uh, the, the stuff I'm going to outline here is going to apply to every single one of the videos. So um, th this is basically going to be an intro for the whole series, so I don't have to keep saying the same things over and over again. Now, first and foremost, any tips I'm going to give, basically look upon as opinion. Um, you know, if, if stuff needs to be fact-checked, then, then go and, go and fact-check check it by all means. I'm not going to get upset or offended if, if somebody calls me out on something that was genuinely wrong that I said. That's, you know, again, take it as opinion, but maybe a slightly uh, educated opinion, um, uh, because, you know, I, 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 I'm not saying I know more than you, um, but I know enough, if you see what I mean. And um, this, this, this series is basically going to be aimed at people that are just getting into collecting um, games and consoles and things like that. Um, so, But then if you've been doing it for years, maybe you'd still get something out of it. You never know. But basically, what, what it's going to include is um, I'm going to be focusing on stuff that came out in the United Kingdom. So that might upset a few people. I mean, I'm... I'm <laughs> You know, if, if if you're talking stuff like the Coleco Vision or something like that, I'm not going to be touching that because, frankly, I didn't have one. I don't know anyone that had one. I don't even think it came out here. I don't know anything about that system at all. Um, so if it didn't come out here, assume that I don't know about it. Um, but on the flip side of that, I mean, stuff like the uh, the Spectrum and things like that will come up. Um, because because obviously that was popular in the UK, not so much in the US, although there is a bit of a following now, uh, for it now, I, uh, I understand. But that doesn't mean if you aren't from the UK, you're not going to get anything out of the videos. Um, so some stuff will apply to you, some stuff won't. And you might find something interesting, even if you don't find it useful. Um, there is st Some of the stuff I am, I'm definitely going to leave out. Now, first generation consoles, what, what, the, what we call the first generation, or what the internet calls the first generation, um, like Pong machines, um, you know, like single, single, single game consoles, like a Pong machine, um, or, or uh, something like an Intellivision or something like that, I'm not even going to bother with, uh, because what's the point? You know, it's, it's not different games, it's a, it's a series of overlays. Um, and I'm not even going to entertain that idea of talking about them. Um, some stuff that was multi-game cartridge, like the, the let me think, uh, first generation multi-cartridge, something like the Grandstand uh, Video Programmable, um, I'm not going to talk about for the same reason. It's just Pong in different orientations. There's no point. I mean, it may have come out with half a dozen cartridges, but they're all shit nobody wants to collect for it so um, the proper obscure stuff I'm not going to touch because um, I don't for the simple reason the same as most people I don't know enough about it to warrant even doing a video on it um, I could go and research it and then spout out a load of third party information that I can't verify and I don't know um, I'm not going to waste your time with that so if I don't if I haven't done a video on something and I haven't mentioned something, um, it may not be that I don't want to, it may be that it's not worth mentioning because my knowledge of that particular system or series of games just doesn't go far enough. Um, 
and anything obviously that was region exclusive that didn't come out of the UK, I'm not even gonna not even gonna bother with. Um, so that's sort of it. oh handhelds I'm gonna stay away from. Um, no, well, ah, well, I'm gonna stay away from most of them. Should I say? Because most handhelds are ports. Most of the games on handhelds are ports of existing games that were already on other systems at the time. The handhelds are normally, um, not saying all the games are the same, and there are very good reasons to collect for handhelds. Um, but again, a lot, of, a lot of the stuff on them is ports. A lot of the stuff was, was uh, games that were already on home consoles. Um, and I don't feel the need to go through series of things over and over again. Um, so I'm going to stay away from handhelds uh, pretty much until quite late on uh, when handhelds actually became interesting and became their own, you know, had their own series of games in their own right. Um, PCs I'm going to ignore um, for the simple reason that uh, there's too, a there's too much um, and I mean there, there is no way you could you could even I, I don't even know if there is that many PC collectors out there anyway and if there are they're probably not watching my video they're probably watching somebody else who specifically collects for PC because it's just too big a library um, and I wouldn't be able to do it justice anyway it may get the PC may get some honourable mentions, but that but that'll be about it. I'm, I'm not going to do any episodes focusing on PC collections because there's just too much. Um, it can't. I'm I'm not willing to do it. I'm not willing to put the research in, quite frankly. Um, and the the other thing that I'm not really going to talk about is arcade systems. So anyone that collects for something like uh, uh, anyone that collects jammer boards. Or anyone that collects uh, what was the other super gun? Uh, I think it's super gun is the one that's called. Anyway, it, because for the simple reason that when those boards were available, they weren't available to normal people. They were only commercial things um, that normal people didn't buy. And I know there are people that collect arcade boards now. Um, personally, to me, I don't find that sort of thing interesting. You know, I don't mind a nice shiny CD or a, or a nice plastic cartridge, but looking at boxes and boxes of circuit boards, I just think um, it's not for me. I, don't, I, I know a lot about arcade games actually. Playing them, collecting them, I would have no clue. I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, but basically, um, I think that sort of outlines what I'm what I'm aiming to do. I mean, that may evolve over time as the videos come up. I don't know. Um, anything that I think is going to be worth mentioning will be mentioned. Uh, hopefully, um, if I've written it all down properly, my my bullet points. Yeah, you know, my book of bullet points that I've got here. Um, and believe you me, these things are written. Uh, they may not be the things I'm saying may not be scripted as such, but they are written. Um, so that's why there won't be one every day. There'll be, I'll sort of trickle them out over the next few weeks, maybe a month, maybe, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but I haven't finished writing them all yet, so I'm not entirely sure um, what they're going to be. But basically what I want to do is I'm going to go through it, I'm going to go uh, the the plus points, the, the minus points, um, sort of hardware, uh, talking about the hardware, and then talking about the game selections and maybe if they've got anything worth mentioning some, some of the accessories and some of the uh, some of the nuances uh, maybe maybe behind sort of um, behind what was going on behind the scenes at the time um, but generally but, but then after at the end of every video I'm going to come up with a verdict and I've had a lot of sort of internal discussion with myself on how to do that and um, I know a lot, a lot of people are going to absolutely, uh, a lot of people are going to like this and a lot of people are going to hate it. Do you remember the game you used to play at school? Uh, the Shag Marry Avoid? You know, where you'd pick, you know, you'd, you'd hypothetically pick like three celebrities or, or, or whatever and you'd, you'd pick one you'd shag, 
one you'd marry and one you'd avoid, or shag, marry, kill, uh, is what it's often called. Um, but I was quite friendly at school even then, and I didn't, you know, I don't want to kill people. I'll avoid them. You know, it's much easier. Um, but it's basically like that. But instead of that, what it's going to be, it, it, there's still going to be avoid, um, but it's basically, the other two categories are going to be collect or emulate. That's what I'm going for. And I know game collectors hate game, are supposed to hate game emulators, and game emulators are supposed to hate collectors, blah, 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 blah. There's supposedly this big invented rivalry between the two, which I don't understand because I do both and I can care less. But it's basically which one's better to collect for and which one's better to emulate for. Um, now, the caveat is always going to be um, that it, it, it's going to come down, it, it, basically every video is going to come down to cost and, I'll, uh, and I'll, have, I'll have a round up at the end just before I give my verdict on, on what I think because um, it is just what I think what the what the verdict is going to be um, and none of these are set in stone as I'm doing my notes I haven't decided what the verdict's going to be in any of them I think I think I'm I'm almost finished writing the first three and I haven't decided yet what the verdict's going to be on any of them I'm taking my time and I'm going to think about it carefully so don't think I've got this all planned out weeks ahead of time because I don't um, but a lot of the stuff is going to be, um, the verdict might be, and if, if this, then this, if not, then this, you know, if, uh, for instance, I, you know, my verdict might be, if you already have X, Y, Z, then go for it. If you don't, and you're starting genuinely from scratch, maybe don't, I, I don't know, I, but I, I've started rough writing these things anyway. So we'll see how it turns out, and hopefully, um, I sound like I'm rambling again. I always think I'm rambling when I'm doing these videos, because I get lost in what I'm actually saying. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone's... Got, I'm sure once you've watched the first one, you, you'll get what I'm trying to do. Um, and then hopefully that will make it easier for you watching the next one. So yeah, I'm going to start from... Basically start from the second generation. So the first two videos are going to be the Atari 2600 and the ZX Spectrum. Um, they're probably going to be the first two videos and I think the third one is probably going to be the Commodore 64. Um, so again if I've missed out any in between that's not because I, I don't like any of it. It's because I don't know enough about them to bother doing them. So I think that's going to be the first three videos. Is going to be the uh, the the Spectrum, uh, the Sinclair, uh, sorry, the Z Sinclair ZX, I suppose it would be the ZX series, the um, Commodore 64, and the Atari 2600. I think that's probably going to be the first three videos. Um, and depending on how I upload them, this might go up the same day or I might put this up slightly earlier. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my plans of what to do. Now, so if you if you want to see those three, certainly stay tuned. Um, but I am going to be, you know, you, you see what I'm doing with this. I'm going up through the generations. So maybe the system you collect for isn't there. Uh, maybe it is, or maybe you collect for something later. Sorry, you'll just have to wait. The way I can square it up with my head and a reasonable idea on the playlist, as I'm thinking of it, um, is to do them in chronological order. The other thing I would say, and I, I, I will get this tip in now, before, um, before you watch any of the videos. Now, hopefully, once they're all up, you'll have a good idea. If you're a new collector, you'll have a good idea of the three or four systems, maybe five, that you actually want to collect for. Um, and if I've helped with that, then, then brilliant, I'm happy with that. If not, um, what I would, uh, well, what I would advise is that you stick to four or five different things that you collect for, because I see so many people that collect, that they just, they just grab everything they can. If it's a game, they grab it. 
and, and this is one of the things that I want to say in this first video before I go anything system specific. Do yourself a favour and pick maybe four or five things maximum. Unless you've got unlimited time and money, um, do yourself a favour, save, save yourself a lot of, uh, well, save yourself an aneurysm um, and, and, you know, save yourself an awful lot of trouble and pick four or five. Even if you pick four or five of the easier ones, it's, it's not going to be a problem. You know, do yourself a favour and, and just do that. Because so many people just grab everything and then you, you see them, you know, you see them again in three years down the road and they've just given it up completely. They're fucking burnt out. They're done. They don't want to play games anymore. And I can completely understand that. Because, um, I mean, I only collect four or five different systems and, you know, it, it's sometimes it can be a hell of a chore just finding space for all this stuff quite frankly um, so yeah I'll end the video with that tip so you can take that tip as a freebie even in this intro bit before anything started um, don't go any more than five different systems or, or, or collections because you'll just go mad um, so hopefully the, these will be good and everyone's going to watch them um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.